just, I mean, of course there's nerves, of course of everything. Um, but I'm just excited for you all to learn and learn from the people flying in front of me. And if I get a chance to showcase my career, I'm going to do that. So, yeah. How have you been as a player when, like, things are really exciting? Like, Try to do too much? Have you, have you have to stop yourself from like getting kind of caught up in the moment? Like, how have you handled that stuff in the past? But, I mean, I always go out and kind of play my game and play the right way. So, so I, you know, I never try to overthink things. I just go out and play my game. Do you have any? Like, okay, Working, hard work. Then out there trying to get better every day, like I have been doing all summer. Um, so yeah, just building the routine. Do you have any like pre-game routines or things that you do, kind of superstitious, like kind of things that you do before every um, game? Uh, pretty much all the regular stuff, eating, hydrating, making sure my mind's right, stuff like that. Question. R Rui said that the fact that JJ just retired like, a few years ago, he feels like the communication, talking to him, like he speaks like a player, is going to communicate on that level. How have you found that dynamic? I, I totally agree. Um, he's a great coach so far. Uh, it's been amazing vibes in the in the facility so far. So I feel like it's you know up the vibes from what it was last year from what I've heard. I went to one of your Sierra games a couple years ago, and you're down at the support side. And you guys had interaction throughout the course of the game. How has that been part of kind of your experience with your dad being at games? And do you anticipate that carrying over? Like, will he be telling you stuff while the game actually is going? Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Just. Now we're teammates, uh, so it's gonna be more in-depth talk about the game and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready for it. Does that ever affect your Last performance? Two. No, no, it's just, yeah. A lot of pressure going into this weekend, right? How how are you seeing this? What's your mentality? Um, I'll just say like I have been all summer just going out trying to get better and learning from guys like that guy walking around, walking past. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, just trying to get better every day and taking not full, full responsibility. What, what is Rob Mission? Last question. Rob Mission story about you and your dad. You got the, a couple weeks ago, got the layup over you. You say steps out of bounds. Andy Mission story a couple of days ago that you hit a three, then your dad's coming down, kind of just raising since he level. What have those moments done for you in terms of your practice, your play, and what have you seen from your dad in terms of just being able to play with you? Uh, say for me, you know, just building confidence, um, playing at this next level. Going out there and getting my reps and um, hitting those shots means, means a lot. So, you know, just getting buckets. That, you know, so it's, it's it's not really any difference. Um, you know, just playing with my dad is just a special experience, and yeah, it's, it's, I'm really grateful. For it. Thanks, buddy. Uh, I know me and Austin. Uh, he texted me throughout my college career, uh, just giving me some advice and stuff, and then you know, getting drafted here, get to go talk to him whenever I want to and ask some questions. And, you know, we just get tons of shots up after practice. Uh, just kind of learn from him. He's been there, done it. So, like, you know, just learning from a, a vet like that is going to be good. What part of his game stands out seeing him in person? I would say, I mean, obviously we know he's a good shooter, but his playmaking and getting downhill, drawing fouls, uh, just trying to learn that type of area that I can improve.